If you've missed my last uh, vlog, um, I explained how I had uh, kidney stones and how they just were not going away on their own and they did a x-ray and the doctor said yeah it, it is just the one stone is just so large that it is not going to go away on its own and in fact if i left it he said that eventually your kidney would shrivel and die and i couldn't leave it anyway because if you've ever had a kidney stone you will know they are extremely painful in fact i would rate it um, right up there with labor pains it is they're really really bad and it just it's not fun good morning today is the day of my oh and i have a hard time saying it every time i say it you read you read erotherapy you read erotherapy you read eroscopy. <laughs> I just had I a hard time it. saying it. It's just scoppy. <laughs> yeah, it's scoppy. And so um, I, the last day or two, I thought, oh, I, I'm doing okay. God, I don't even know why I need this little procedure done. And then last night, I was just, oh, I was dying. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I remember why now. So it's like, and this morning, I feel like a mother in labor. You know how you get that little surge of energy just before you have the baby? Well, this morning I was, I, I just, <laughs> I was nesting. I was running, no, I was running around the house, gathering up the garbage and made my bed and made sure there wasn't any dishes in the sink. And I was even ironing a few clothes and I thought, ding, 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 this is exactly what I have been telling you are the, um, what, four the, the four basic steps make your bed do your dishes take okay. the garbage out mm -hmm. and keep up with your laundry those are the four stink bombs basically that that i was addressing this morning because i've kind of let things slip i haven't felt that well and this morning i'm like i am not coming home from the hospital and having these things bit pile up on me so I ran through the house pretty quick this morning and got them done and I feel a lot better they told me also to come to the hospital if you can tie your hair back to do it and so can you see my hair I just barely can you see it barely got a ponytail I don't know if they can see it hold the well, camera you need to tell them where you got your scrunchie barely. <laughs> <laughs> yes I got the scrunchie because I um I thought, oh I don't have one of those uh, didn't want to go to the store and then I remembered I've got all these dolls in the house and I stole a scrunchie off of my grandchildren's dolls I think this might have been Olivia's old scrunchie but and they told me not to wear makeup I'm like yeah right I'm not I, I put some lipstick on got a little bit of rouge you don't call it rouge do you when I was growing <laughs> up my my mom always called it rouge and um, so that's what I call it. And when I say that, my girls just laugh. But anyway, wish me luck today. We've said a little prayer and our children are praying for us too. And I just know it'll be fine. It's just a little procedure that I need to have done. And I'll come home. I'm looking forward to the afternoon where I can lay on my bed and be drowsy and take a nap and i'm looking forward to that but i am a little bit nervous about how i'm going to react to the anesthesia because in the past i think what it's done to me has made me cry i i've had a couple other procedures done before and i remember being quite emotional from it and so i hope that i don't get crying around falling around but Anyway, wish me luck and I will check back in with you later when I probably look like death warmed over. I don't know. <laughs> you ready? Let's go.
pretty cute. Now, they didn't say anything about the mask going back on. Well, I'm not in here having a baby. <laughs> well, it could be worse. Yeah, I mean, yeah. well, yeah, you're, well, you're gonna have a little baby stone. <laughs> yeah, we'll name him Stone. <laughs> Wish me luck. Does that feel okay? Yeah. This is gonna go pretty quick too. This isn't gonna take us but maybe an hour, okay? Okay. So Jennifer's in <coughs> surgery. Uh, they say it's going to take about an hour to complete the procedure. And then it'll take another 45 minutes when she's done with the procedure to come out of the anesthesia to wake up. And so I've got about an hour and 45 minutes. So I ran up to the fast food place to get a quick burger and drink um, to eat. And I'm just heading back into the clinic right now um, she still has a little while ago I'm keeping the girls updated and her brother and sister-in-law and those that uh, are, are asking how she's doing so I'm keeping them updated as to how she's doing and what, what's going on as I find out so uh, just a, a waiting game right now to see how she's doing and doctors are real optimistic which is a good thing <laughs> Uh, that you know they do hundreds of these here and that they're just gonna go in and blast a stone pull it out get it out suck it out and uh, that'll be it and uh, so I hope it's just that easy <laughs> we'll, we'll keep you updated bye bye okay. well forget everything I've said well, forget everything that I just told you because it wasn't an hour, it wasn't 45 minutes. I'll let Jennifer explain what happened. Oh, he's gonna, he's gonna have me tell you. Um, they just, they couldn't get to it. Um, they said that they, they put a stent in and, and hopefully next week they'll be able to get there. If they'd have pushed any further, they'd have damaged so they're going to wait one more week and I'll come back in a week and hopefully by then they'll be able to get to it. So no luck today. Um, the worst side effect is you feel like you got to pee and you can't. That's the worst. I'll be good. Next time. Next week. I'm going to go home and soak up the attention. I'll just tell Chad, oh, I need this, I need that. Just lay around and take it easy for a day or two. Last time we did this here, you're bringing Ellie home. That's just what I was thinking. <laughs> I'm not even taking home a baby kidney. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Well, your baby stone is still with you. Yeah. We're making to see how you can do it. Well, we wanted to update you on Jennifer's condition. Um, we went in to have her uh, kidney stone blasted and removed and it failed. And so a week later, we went back in to have uh, the second attempt and it went completely uh, flawless. It went uh, textbook. We didn't want to, <laughs> well, we did want to, but it, we were just too tired uh, <laughs> and more nervous to even take the camera in and record it. We just wanted to uh, get it done and get, a, get Jennifer home and, and uh, healing up. Uh, she had been pretty miserable leading up to that and the week in between waiting for the second operation. And so, uh, but we just wanted to update you and let you know that all is well. 
and yeah. to thank you especially oh. the outpouring of concern and and suggestions and and love and prayers is just heartfelt well and it's pretty overwhelming it is overwhelming I mean, it was just so so you nice you are so uh, kind so kind thank uh, you thank yeah. you it I, I don't know i was gonna say it was so unexpected but, no it you wasn't know, <laughs> Uh, but but it was you know just it was it was wonderful and it was a it's appreciated yes. and we we could actually sense the the strength and yes. and uh, your deep concern, concern. and we just yeah. really wanted to not drag these this out and yeah. just we I wanted to let you know as soon as yeah. possible that yeah. I am good I'm good and I'm going to drink my water I'm going to yeah. drink it I do I have been like yeah, I we, do we promise no more video <laughs> On, on kidney right. stones. That's right. No more. No more. We're good to go. Yeah. So, hey, give yourselves a you. thumbs up. Yeah. You are awesome. Yeah. And we love you. Yeah. And Jennifer's well on the road to recovery. And have a great and, Thanksgiving. Yeah, have a wonderful Thanksgiving, and wherever got, you are. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Thanks. Bye. Bye, guys. Okay. Bye-bye.